solve the problem. The question is, sum of three consecutive numbers is 132. Find the square of the largest number. The options are 2026, 640, 900 and 2025. So this is the arithmetic progression and also some amount of square is also the square of numbers. Now, arithmetic progression, if one would explain it is the difference will be same. Arithmetic progression, the difference will be same. See, for example, if I write number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is arithmetic progression difference of 1. If I write 2, 4, 6, 8, this also arithmetic progression difference of 2. The sum of the difference should be same. That is arithmetic progression. Difference should be same. Here it is three consecutive numbers. It's an arithmetic pro consecutive numbers are nothing but arithmetic progression because the difference is same between for two numbers between any two the first number second number third number the difference will always be same so what happens is we do not know what is the starting number so whenever we want a variable only think of x so it will be x is the first number plus x plus 1 will be the next number plus x plus 2 will be the third number this is sum of three consecutive numbers is 132 so this will be equal to 132 when you solve this 3x plus 3 will be equal to 132 3x will be equal to 129 and x will be equal to 43 now what they say is find the large square of the largest number so x is 43 the next number will be x plus 1 second largest number will be x plus 2 so it will be 43 44 and 45 the largest number is 45 so i'll have to square 45 45 square is 2025 45 square is 2025 this is the way of doing it once you understand this this is the way of doing it but you don't have to do all these things see whenever there's an arithmetic progression whenever there's an arithmetic progression if the number of numbers are odd center number is always the average number whenever there's an arithmetic progression if the number of numbers are odd center number is always the average number so what happens this is nothing but so the shortcut is very simple any arithmetic progression number of numbers are odd the center number is always the average number i'm just repeating it for the sake of convenience now consecutive numbers are nothing but arithmetic progression difference of one so there are only three numbers so number of numbers are odd center number is always the average number so 132 divided by 3 will be the average number which will be equal to 44 44 will be the average number, first number will be 43, next number will be 45. 45 square is 2025, 45 square is 2025. So this is the easier way of doing it. I will also tell you how to do your squares faster because I am doing 45 square. See, 25 into 25, 25 into 25, what happens is 5 into 5 will be 25, 5 into 5 will be 25. Whenever number is ending with 5, this is the easier way of doing it. 5 into 5 will be 25. Then after 2, next number will be 3. 2 into 3 will be 6. 6 25. Suppose in 35 to 35, 5 by the 25. Next number of 3 is 4. 3 into 4 will be 12. In here it is 45. Here it is 45. 45, 45. 5 by the 25. The next number of 4 is 5. 4 into 5 will be 20. Even it is going to be a 4 digit number like 1125 into 1125. So here the last the last number is 5, it will be 25, the remaining number will be 112, next number will be 3, 113, so 112 into 113. So any number ending with 5, you can square it like this, it is very very easy, but don't bother too much about squares because your aptitude problem does not ask what the square of this, square of that, all this is not being asked, only thing is you will have to interpret whether it's a square number and give the next answer. Follow my channel, I will be adding lots of questions, wish you all the best.